Hi, I'm Laughing Woman, and I'm doing a reading here to take a peek at the week ahead of us and see how we can best plan to work with it. The first card is Eight of Fire, Velocity. The second card is Five of Air, Consultation. The third card is Keeper of Air, Negotiation. The fourth card is Mystic of Air, Communication. And the fifth card is Eight of Air, Tradition. Well, this is quite a week this week. This is about thinking, talking, communicating. Um, it's huge in that. There is a little bit of a tendency to be ungrounded when we're so heavily loaded with air cards. So make sure that as you move through the week, you pay attention to grounding yourself on a daily basis because the natural tendency will be to get all up in your head and not really be in touch with a lot of stuff that's outside of that. So we begin the week with velocity. And what that says is you've got the wind beneath your wings and you're really going with something. Whatever that is that you're really going with, there's a need to check in with somebody and find out if your thinking is clear, if your vision is clear for where you're headed. So just get an outside perspective from, from somebody. This can be a professional, this can be a trusted friend or loved one, uh, just somebody who's looking at the situation from eyes other than yours and can help you see places where you might want to just shift a tiny bit so that you can keep going to the goal that you're so beautifully headed toward. From consultation, you want to move into negotiation. Now, negotiation is about communicating either with other people or with various aspects or ideas within yourself. Negotiate and find the sweet spot for everybody that's involved. In a negotiation, we don't do I win, you lose. We do where do we meet? So what you're wanting to do is take all the disparate ideas that you have about this goal you're heading toward or the people that you're needing to interact with and find the place where everything comes together in a sweet harmony. From negotiation, you communicate. And that is simply let the world know what you're up to. Whoever it is that's involved in this or that needs to know the direction you're heading or that you're excited and want to tell whatever. Get the word out about what you're doing. Open that throat chakra wide and let the words inform people where you're headed. From communication, we move into tradition. Now, tradition is pulling back into a more familiar territory. Whatever this is that you're heading into, you're opening some new energy for yourself. You're getting to a goal. You want to take some tradition into it with you so that you're grounded in something familiar. The tradition can be something very simple, like every morning I eat breakfast at 8 o'clock and I have whatever I have. Or it can be something much more elaborate, like as I'm going this far in a process, I like to do a ritual or have a celebration that includes all my people. Wherever you want to go with that, just do something that is traditional for you. Okay, so in summary for the week, again, I want to say we've got a lot of air energy, so make sure you keep yourself grounded through the week. You're beginning the week with a lot, a lot of power and energy taking you right toward whatever your vision is. It's important to check in with somebody outside of you and see what their perspective is on your progress toward your goal. They'll have a, few, a little bit of information that'll help you adjust things and get everything into perfect harmony so that when you get to that goal, you get there unimpeded and you've got the results you want. 
Once you've made those little adjustments and found that sweet spot, let the world know what you're up to and enjoy that in some way that's traditional to you. Have a really great, inspiring week this week.